The last three seasons have been ruined by the Married at First Sight experts. Experts from Married at First Sight have been mismatching couples fatally. Are their mistakes a threat to the popular reality show's future? Experts on Married at First Sight have questionable matchmaking skills and their failures may be harming the program. Only one of the 15 couples that the MAFS matchmakers paired during the previous three seasons have remained together. Seasons 13 and 14 both receive a score of 0 out of 5. There is just one couple left standing after the most recent attempt to unite strangers at the altar, Lindy Elloway and Miguel Santiago. On decision day, two other couples from season 15 chose to remain married, while Alexis Williams and Justin Hall divorced just hours later. Recently, Stasia Karcher requested a separation from Nate Barnes, and possibly a divorce. Nate and Stasia haven't divorced formally yet, but it's not looking good. Even while Married at First Sight never had a great track record, it has declined recently, largely because of the ridiculous standards that Dr. Pepper Schwartz and Pastor Kyle Robertson used to match up hopeful individuals. The two matchmakers, who are still in place, have a lot of experience, even if season 15 was the first time without a third expert who rotates. This implies that they should be aware of what succeeds and what fails. They appear to be clinging to the fallacy that opposites attract, though. Some followers believe that participants are matched more for drama and ratings than for love by the experts. After all, one of the numerous head-scratcher matches in recent episodes involves sorority sister Kristen Collins and environmentalist Mitch Selverstein in season 15. It's possible that the MAFS matchmakers selected the wrong partners on purpose. But if they're attempting to find the ideal spices for the participants, as Dr. Viviana Cole said in the New York Post, they need to be aware that happy marriages require a common ground. Having traits that almost everyone has, such as appreciating family or the great outdoors, is not what is meant by common ground. The biggest errors made by professionals are there. Many times, Dr. Pepper and Pastor Cal have justified pairings of opposites by saying things such as, they both want a family, or they're both determined. This tendency has increased during the previous several seasons, which contributes to the reason why just one of the previous 15 partnerships has remained together. Before asking two strangers to say, I do, the experts should delve further and consider certain personality traits, experiences in greater detail, and hobbies. MAFS pair from season 15. Despite Kristen's unwavering commitment to making it work, Mitch and Kristen were an unlikely pairing that was doomed to fail. The specialists were aware of Mitch's strong concern for the environment, as well as his rigid conservatism and preference for natural women. Therefore, they paired him with Kristen, an exquisite, sophisticated, aspiring house flipper, rather than a woman who shares his love for recycling and conservation a female likely to go without makeup and shoes. They certainly have a love of the outdoors and their families, but that is where the similarities end. Those are insufficient justifications for a couple to continue their union for the remainder of their life. Clinging to general similarities and using them as justifications to lump two people together. The misfortune of Chris Collette and Alyssa Elman, who were eliminated from the experiment after day 12, is another illustration of the expert's use of absurd criteria to match the couples. Alyssa was adamant that her partner's imperfect teeth were a deal breaker, but despite Chris's dental issues, the specialists arranged for them to be together. That was only the beginning, as their personalities, passions and willingness to try all clashed with one another. Many supporters believe that this setup was created solely to spark debate and increase viewing numbers. The Married at First Sight matchmakers are doing a great job if the real reason they've gotten so awful at generating good matches is because it generates publicity. If they really want to build long-lasting marriages, though, they've gone in the wrong direction. They must return to the fundamentals and consider what makes successful couples like Ashley Petta and Anthony D'Amico and Danielle Bergman and Bobby Dodd work together.